Hey guys, in this video I want to just walk you through how to do this setup here, this first step for Podio Tools. Um, so basically all you're going to do is just take these two links, click and drag, and you're going to put them up in your bookmarks bar for whatever browser you're using. Uh, we recommend Google Chrome. Um, I'm right now just using Safari just for this demo, um, which will work fine. Once you have those there, then the next step you need to do is just navigate over to your Podio app. In this case, I have a projects app, and all I have to do is click on the Podio Tools Configure bookmark, and it will take me to the Podio Tools Configure form. Uh, from this form, uh, you're going to fill out all these fields, and you can actually, there's another video right here. You can watch this video, and it'll walk you through how to go about configuring this, what all the fields mean, and all the required fields. And then just so you know, this Podio Tools reply bookmarklet, you're only going to use it if you have, like in this app, I have these existing items here. Um, and they were, uh, they existed before I configured Podio Tools. Um, for these particular items, if I wanted to send a reply back uh, via email after I do the Podio Tools configuration, I can use a Podio Tools reply and it will allow me to use the Podio Tools reply form to send an email back to that user. Normally, uh, for any new items, you're going to get a blue arrow icon showing up in your comments, and that's the way you're going to um, reply back to users. So really, this, this uh, bookmarklet only gets used when you're sort of introducing Podio Tools into your environment. You may have some existing items. You, wanna, you might want to be able to send some emails to those existing items, and that's where you would use that bookmarklet. Okay? Thanks.